Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the GVC tool to update the software in your machine. The first thing I'm going to do is turn the power off. The second step is to take the control board cover off. Now I have a jumper it's pretty small. It needs to go over a couple pins in the center of the control board. There's a silver box here and just to the right is a couple tiny little pins. I'm going to take my jumper and put it over it. Alright, the next step is turning the machine back on. When the machine comes back on, you should see a red light start to slow flash in the upper left hand corner. Now, I'm going to take my GVC programming tool. I'm going to push the button one time so that it wakes up and I should have a red light on there. I'm going to take the plug and plug it into my DEX socket. Once that's done, my light goes to green and I'll push the button again. It should change color and then go back to green and a rapid flash. It takes about five to six minutes for a program to load. When the uh, light up on the le upper left hand corner over there starts to slow flash again, you'll know you're done. Alright, it's been about five minutes. My GVC tool light is green and my red light on the upper left hand corner is doing the slow blink. So I know that I'm done programming. So what I'm going to do is turn the machine off, remove my programmer, remove my jumper. All right, I'm going to turn the machine back on now. My machine will turn back on. My build validator will run again. I'll put the cover back on. Put the DEX harness back up. All right, now uh, that you've programmed your machine with a new version of software, the first thing to do is to go around and go into service mode and do a motor count and set your computer. All right, I'm going to show you how to do a motor count. Once we've programmed the software, the first thing we've got to do is do a motor count so the machine recognizes how many motors are in there. Um, on this version of software, as soon as you open the door, if your machine has a door switch, it'll go into service mode. I'm going to have my assistant open the door a little bit. All right, now that we're in service mode, it says 40 motors, but I'm going to go ahead and push you to confirm that. You can see the motors counting up, and yes indeed, I have 40. Hi, now we're going to show you how to change the configuration setting so that your machine is set on the cold bait refrigeration setting, and I'll also show you how to adjust the set point in case you want it at a different temperature setting other than the default 45 degrees. Now, now that you've updated your software, when you open up your door, the machine will automatically go into service mode. I'm going to have my assistant open up the door a little bit. <laughs> there we are. And since we've programmed this board, anytime you program a board, the first thing you want to do is push the number two so that it recounts your motors. Because you don't want to end up with uh, your machine all set up and configured but yet zero motors on there. All right. Now from the motor count, to get into the configuration, we need to go to the advanced configuration setting to change the temperature. So I'll push 4, and then I'll push the 0, and then it allows me for a password, and I'll push 2314. 
advanced configuration. And the temperature settings are under number seven. You can see I'm already set on cold bait here, but I'll show you that if you push seven, you can edit it to other things, but we want to get back to where it says cold bait. Oops, went past it. There we are, push the pound to save that, and then push the starter back up. We're back to advanced configuration. I want to be back to the motor count. So there I am. Now if you want it to be set at a different temperature than 45 degrees, push the three to go into options, and then eight will show you what the set point is. And right now I'm set at 44. I want to be set at 45, so I'm going to push the eight, and I'm at 45. If you wanted it at a higher temperature, you would just keep on pushing it. And if you wanted a lower temperature than it is set at, if you just push it several times, eventually it'll jump down. See there, I'm at 37. So we'll say I want to be at 45. There I am. I push the pound button, and I'm set. The exit service mode, I'm going to push the start button until I'm all the way out. 